Uh, my name is Brian Young. Uh, I come from Sandia National Laboratories in the United States. Um, I support the U.S. delegation as a waveform expert and technical expert on issues related to the uh, nuclear explosion monitoring and comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty. This is my uh, fifth or sixth working group B now. Uh, just yesterday, I participated in the um, Waveform Experts Group. Um, this year, I was merely there to observe and take notes, uh, but in the past, I've presented some of my work related to the regional seismic travel time software. And while Working Group B is primarily a technical meeting, there is a, a more international and political component to it uh, than other uh, seismology meetings uh, that I typically go to. So It's also very... Um, very tangible. Uh, a lot of scientific work is theoretical and abstract, whereas this has a very specific purpose to it. Uh, so that's sort of uh, fulfilling to do that sort of scientific work. This is our first, at least this is my first uh, working group B that's in person since the, not, not the end of the pandemic yet, but the pandemic is sort of ending. So this is the first in-person working group B that I participated in the Young Professionals Network. Um, and so we've had a chance to get together and, and meet each other and talk about what our expertise is, what our background is, where we come from, uh, and, and things of that nature. So it's been a good opportunity to get to know some of the other young professionals at, uh, at working group B. I think it's a, the Young Professionals Network has a couple of important aspects. Um, socialization is one aspect. Uh, if, if you look around, a lot of people here at Working Group B have been here for many, many Working Group Bs and many people retire every year. Um, and they all know each other from 20 years ago. So to, to have effective uh, technical cooperation um, and, and discussions, we have to know each other outside, peer, outside of purely the country to country delegation format. And so there is that aspect of it to, to meet other future uh, participants and leaders of the CTPTO and Working Group B. There's also sort of a, uh, a mentoring aspect to it, right? Because we need to be able to have, a, in, instead of, uh, at the US laboratories, we talk about the U-shaped age distribution. There's a lot of people that are very experienced and there's a lot of very new staff and there's very few people in between. And so hopefully, the Young Professionals Network is able to make more of a continuous distribution of technical experts uh, that can create sort of a pipeline for new staff to get involved in this, uh, in this technical area. I can only offer uh, advice based on my own experience and that's just if you have an interest in something, reach out and, and just go for it. If you, if you think you're interested in this area, send an email to somebody, even if unsolicited, and say, hey, I'm interested. You know, are there opportunities to get involved? Um, that's worked well for me in my career, uh, and it's something that I often advise uh, students that I've mentored uh, in, in my capacity as a technical staff at the National Laboratories. Yeah, so this is my bolo tie. Um, it's sort of a traditional uh, necktie of the American Southwest. I actually purchased this at Very Large Array a Radio Telescope in New Mexico. So it's a picture of, it's a, it's a view of Earth from the moon and there's some stars on it. <laughs> and uh, it's a little unconventional here. Everyone, uh, at least uh, most people are in suits and ties. And I thought, well, I, I prefer a bolo tie over a normal necktie. So I decided just to wear it and you know, if my delegation said, oh, put on a real tie, I had, I had a real tie in my backpack just in case, but they never told me. And um, I've gotten several compliments on, on the bolo tie since I've worn it. So I continue to wear it.